my loves and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm coming to you guys with a Sephora haul and this bag is pretty large. Um, I kind of did some damage at Sephora and I felt bad because I had a really bad experience the last time I was there and I just still love the place. It just felt really, really bad. But this time around, I went and there was a whole new set of people. It was actually the original people I normally see. And I met this young man named Jake and he is just so darling. And I don't think I've seen him there before, but he was the sweetest. You know, he kept coming up to me and talking to me and like telling me like what he, he likes and you know, all that stuff. And we were just chit chatting about makeup, not pressured into buying or trying anything, which I quite enjoyed, but I kind of had him running around the store. So if you just so ever happen to come across this channel, thank you very much for your help, Jake. And I really, really appreciate it. Anyway, let's unbag this. <laughs> I just replenished on one thing and I ended up getting my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in Ebony. I normally would get it from the Anastasia website, but but I just couldn't wait so I picked it up at Sephora because I felt like it but I do have a couple probably coming from Anastasia so shh, don't judge me. Um, the next thing I picked up was this Smith's Rosebud Salve and this is pretty much it smells like roses and it's this right here you just put it on your lips I put it on my lips I think you could put it anywhere um, it's like an all-purpose skin thing. I put it on my lips and I used it on my cuticles the other day, but I prefer it on my lips. So I've been using that and that was like six bucks or something like that. The next thing I picked up was from Sephora and I don't know why I picked this up. I guess I was trying to renew my VIB points, which I was very, very disturbed because I thought I would have been a VIB rouge. No, they tricked me. But anyway, I just picked this up because it looked intriguing and... I must say, I don't think I like it. It is the Sephora Outrageous Volume Mascara. It is extremely wet. It, I don't know, it pops open kind of funny. Um, it makes my lashes look great. The wand is huge. It, it just smells like mascara, thank God, because if it stunk, it's, I don't know. I think I might just be taking this back. I know it's only five bucks, but it's five dollars, honey. But I don't know, it like, it kind of burned when my eyes would water. I felt like my eyes burning. We can't have that with this kind of mascara, so. So I finally gave in and I've been really, really debating on getting this. Um, I also wanted to pick the one up from Tarte and it is the Benefit Gimme Brow. This is like my first Benefit item ever. I think I had the Professional, but that was a sample, a sample. But yes, I got the Gimme Brow in medium deep and I've been using it with my Anastasia of Beverly Hills brow is and I love it I did not use it today I decided to keep them just simple and soft because I just got this and I just did a tutorial for you guys so I used products that I've been using for a while so I decided to omit this from the tutorial but I really do like the way this works with my Anastasia brow is I tried it on its own and it's good but I prefer it with the Brow Wiz, so this is pretty cool. So I picked up two of the Kat Von D liquid lipsticks. Of course, I wanted Lolita. Lolita? Yes, I had mentioned it in my last Sephora haul I when I got the Steel lipstick. And I want Lolita, but it's been sold out, and I don't think, I don't know if she's going to ever make it again. But anyway, I picked up two of their shades, and I picked up Berlin, which is gorgeous. I wore this color the other day for work and it lasted me all day or all night long. And that's it right there. It is a perfect bright pink. It almost looks reddish on me, but you could see that vibrant pink. I love this color. It's very similar to a brand that shall not be named because I'm boycotting it along with everyone else. It looks like one of their pink. Um, so yeah. The next color I got was falling on the floor. All right, now that I made a mess of everything, <laughs> the next color I got was Outlaw, and I thought they were out of stock, but I kind of just started looking in their drawers, and I got scolded. <laughs> so that is the color right there. It's a beautiful, perfect red. Of course, I have to get a red in every lipstick that I buy or own or whatever, so 
come on now this was like a vow that i made myself many moons ago <laughs> okay so i have been looking for this forever and it has been out of stock um for a primer i have been using my it cosmetics number 50 primer i ran out of that a couple months ago a few like three months ago and i've been looking for something that's nourishing and that doesn't cost like 50 dollars. so i ended up picking up the Too faced hangover rx replenishing face primer and this is made with coconut water electrolytes and it has probiotics in it i was sold at the coconut water to be honest because it is very very hydrating and good for the skin i've seen nicole guerrero use this she uses it as like a prep and then she primes um but she has oilier skin um i have dry combo skin at times you do get the coconut scents like the coconut water scents very very lightly it's not noticeable but i actually i actually really really like this I used it a few times. My makeup looks soft. I did not use it for the look today. I kind of wish I did, but again, that's neither here nor there. Absolutely love this so far, so I'm hoping this will be a new favorite. So anyway, I finally got it. I got my Ambient Hourglass powder in, was it dim? What's this? Dim light. I've been contemplating on getting the Hourglass uh, palette, the ambient lighting palette, but I just gave in and just bought this one. It is just gorgeous. I use this with that. Um, I don't think you'll see it, but it just gives you like this radiance on the skin. Oh my God. It is not glittery or shimmery. It just gives you, I don't know, this... I don't know goddess glow but it without it being so golden it just it looks like an angel just kissed your cheek and I don't know it was fabulous oh I'm kind of mad that I waited this long to get this powder but that's okay you're in my collection now I love you very much okay so finally my big ticket item from Sephora is this <laughs> I got the Sephora Favorites Beauty Closet. Um, now this retails for uh, $99. The value of it is $298 and I will open this up. My girl Jay, she also does YouTube videos. I saw her get this for herself and I was like, that's intriguing. So I said, I'll see it in person and if I like it, I'll buy it. So I'm gonna turn around so you guys can see all this magnificence right there, look at that. I'm stuck in my shirt. Help! I, of course, wanted it because it comes with the Hourglass Primer, the Better Than Sex Mascara, the Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear um, Eyebrow Gel. It comes with an Arnesy in Modster um, Eyeliner. Wow, I can't speak today. But anyway, you get quite a few goodies in here. And this retails for way more than $100. Me doing the math on when you buy samples. Um, the samples alone are like $10, $12, depending. Like if you go to Ulta, you know, the little mascaras. Those are like $12 a piece. And I have a mascara in there. I have an Ole, Henry's, a Ole Henriksen. People, I say Ole Hen Henriksen. People say Ole. I say old. Like old. But oh, but anyway, that's neither here nor there. So I picked this bad boy up and I'm super, super excited. I have dug into it a little bit here and there. And it's really nice to try out samples. I honestly think that this is an amazing gift for the female or male that loves makeup. It's $100. It is a little steep if you think about it. But when you really look at the kind of samples, these are all high-end samples. You even get a perfume in here from the uh, Elizabeth and James. You get the Nirvana Black, which smells very good. My husband actually said he likes the smell of it. I don't know. I'm still on the fence about it. But I do like it. It's just not something that I would go out and like, you know. <laughs> but anyway, I personally think that this is an amazing gift. It's something that you can consider getting for yourself to splurge. You got everything from Tarte to Formula X from Sephora to Laura Mercier to Hourglass to Too Faced to Ardency Inn to Bare Minerals. So I think this is amazing. Uh, most of the makeup items in here are light to medium, like medium light or something like that. Um, so... If you're a little bit on the deeper end, you might not, you know, care to use these unless you use them as bases. Um, but they're mostly BB creams and I got the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector, which, love. 
But anyway, guys, that's pretty much it for my Sephora haul. I hope you guys like this video. Please thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And as always, I'll see you guys in my next video. Love you guys. Bye.